Hello, hello, hello. We hope everybody's had a good day as always. We are here, as you know, we do our um, live interviews on Monday. Sometimes it's a live interview, sometimes it's a fan chat. But tonight we are supposed to have um, Mr. Eddie Baines on tonight. And there is a great gospel program coming up that we want you to know about. Hello, everybody that's joining us. Miss Gloria, Miss Linda, Paulette, Sandra. Uh, let's see, who did I miss? Who did I miss? Who did I miss? Camila, hello, Robin, Michael, Angela, Linda, hello, hello, hello. We hope that it's been a wonderful day for everybody. You know, while we're waiting for Mr. Eddie Baines to join us, you know, one thing we are called to do, and we're called to do good. God created, uh, for instance, the body and everything to work in harmony. And that's the way he created created us, to work in harmony. Um, and I'm doing good, Gloria. How are you? He created us to work in harmony, to live in harmony, and to exist in harmony and he created us to help one another you know that's one of the things that we are should do for our neighbors for our sisters our brothers in Christ so I said that to say this if you see somebody in need take a moment out of your day to be a listening ear to be a shoulder to cry on you know sometimes just people just want somebody to listen, somebody um, to care. So as you go throughout your day and you see there's a need, we ask that you take just a few minutes out of your day and do that. Miss Diana, thank you for joining first time. Tonight is our um, interview night, and we're waiting for Mr. Eddie Baines to join us. As soon as he does, we're going to bring him into the conversation. But in the meantime, um, we might have a few minutes for... Uh, anybody want to give a testimony tonight? We'll bring you on and let you share your testimony with everybody. And they can see what or hear what God has done for you and... And how he's brought you through. So if you're on and you want to share a quick testimony or a praise report, type me in the comments and I'll invite you on while we're waiting for Mr. Eddie to show up. He certainly is good. Michael, he is good all the time. Nay from Alabama. Hello. Diana, I'm calling you right now, my sis. And we're waiting for her to pick up her invite. Well, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing tonight? I'm wonderful. And I'm joining for the first time. But I have a testimony because I know there are things that God has done for me. Because there was a time... Three years ago this time, I was sitting in a county jail, didn't know I was going to come home. Wow. I know. And I kept my faith, and I kept my strength, and I built it up. I lost my mom during this particular time. I was separated from my children. But by the grace of God, I'm home today with my children and a free woman. And I just want to thank God for it. Amen. Amen. You know, no matter what we do in life, uh, our past doesn't define us. And whatever situation is, God is able to turn that thing around and make it work out for your good. So we are he praising is. God with you. He blessed me. When they said I wouldn't get no job, he blessed me. I'm a manager at a prominent restaurant right now, a year oh, later. I know, oh. I know what he can do. 
<laughs> Amen. Amen. That's how our God works. And we thank you so much for sharing that with us. You know, thank you for just... Yes. Our testimonies can help somebody else. You know, uh, here we are, a woman who is a living testimony as to how God has worked things out in her favor. Uh, because of her faithfulness, because of, you know, the Bible says just the size of a mustard seed. That's all you got to have, just a little bit of faith. You take that little bit of faith and you work that little bit of faith. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great night. You as well. All right. We have anybody else that would like to join us while we're waiting for Mr. Uh, Eddie to come on. Let me go back up here. Ebony Freeman. Let's see uh, if I can get you on. Ebony Freeman. We're waiting for Mr. Eddie to show up. And while he's waiting, we're allowing... Our viewers to come on and give their Hi, praise support or their testimonies. Hey, Miss Ebony. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm good. How are you doing? Okay, I have a glorious testimony. Okay. I had um in um y'all remember Ike when Ike came through and tore up Houston? Uh -huh. Uh huh. My house was in shambles. Every room in the house was falling in. And my sister kept saying, get out, get out. You need to get out. I couldn't get out. But by the grace of God, I got a new home. Every room that was in the house, it fell in on my daughter. I was sitting on my bed and the roof just fell in right on my left side. And my daughter, she was in the living room. And if she hadn't have moved in time, it would have fell in on her. The whole thing would have just collapsed. Wow. And yes, girl, if you could just see wow. my new home, I am so grateful. And and y'all can't tell me, like, you'll say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> That's yes, how he will, God, girl. Yes, he will. That's how God works. <laughs> That, that, I tell you, what's, there's a song that says, if I had 10,000 tongues, I just couldn't tell it all. That's how our God works. We are so tell it all, grateful for your testimony and grateful that you are here to tell that testimony. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank, thank you, thank you so for much. Joining, thank you for joining us and blessings to you. And you be blessed. Thank you. All right. We're still waiting for Mr. Uh, Eddie to show up. Um, and that's, you know, it's all right if he doesn't make it tonight. We'll catch him again. But uh, like I said, we had a, a, he has a program coming up that we want to tell you about and allow him to tell you about and his musical background uh but until he gets here we'll continue if you have a praise report or a testimony that you would like to share type me in the comments and we'll bring you on uh, i think i missed somebody but our god is an awesome God. No matter what you're going through, Adrian Murphy, let's see if we get Miss Adrian Murphy, get her on. And while we're waiting for her, yeah, our God is just awesome. Whatever you're going through, he can turn it around in your favor and people will see it, and they will recognize that that, that was nobody but God that did that. 
Miss Adrian Murphy is getting ready to connect with us. <laughs> Hi, Miss Adrian. Hey, how you doing? Fine, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Yes. What you got for yes, us tonight? I have a testimony. Uh huh. Yes, um, about, I said about, about March, I had to go, I had to go in for sur surgery. Mm -hmm. And you know, on the operating table, I stopped breathing. I had to be put on a, a machine. Mm -hmm. And you know, doctor said you know, they need all they can do for whatever. And today, you know, I said then about a couple months ago, I had to go to the surgery again. Well, they were scared to put me under, the, you know, the uh, knife again because I not stopped breathing. They had to put on the machine. Mm -hmm. Put me on the breathing machine. So, make a long story short, I started breathing again that time. And God brought me brought me back, you know. So, this you know, my, and, you know, no other God, you know. So, that is my testimony to everyone, you know. Well, we, we praise God for your life. And that he allowed you to stay here and, and share that with us. Yes, ma'am. You have a blessed night. And you be be, be blessed. Thank you. And please play, pray for me. We will do that. We certainly will. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Barbados. It's good to see you, Barbados. Sorry about that. Uh, somebody tried to call in. Anybody else want to share their testimony or want to give a praise report? Portia Kilbrew? Portland, we welcome you. I tried to call Portia. Um, Dallas, Texas, welcome. Where's Camila? She's always got she's always got something to say. I'm gonna call Camila. I hope she's not in the bed. Camila always be laying in the bed, but we gonna call Camila. <laughs> Miss Linda starts, we'll get to you. Camila. Yes, ma'am. Hello. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> yes, I did. I'm obedient. Okay. I got a lot of testimonies. Okay. Testimony. God. Uh, I had uh, some tests I had to take. I was having some complications, some problems, and results came back negative and normal levels. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, we just, you know, we have some things are light afflictions. I, I fell twice last week, <laughs> and uh, yeah, but God sustained me. Yeah. He's a keeper, and if you want to be kept, He'll keep you, even as yes, a single yeah. individual. But you gotta want to be kept. By God. That's right. Amen. Amen. You always have a word for us, and we thank you, and we're grateful for you. And uh, I just thank you for being who you are. Thank you for being who you are. She's a blessing, y'all. See how beautiful she looks? She's beautiful inside out. And I want y'all to pray for the people down here. Uh, they're getting FEMA uh, uh, inspectors going out, but they're denying the people, and it's real, real bad. So just pray for us to have favor down here. We would we'll do get that. The proper assistance, especially the elderly. The elderly, yes. Love y'all. Yeah. Have a good night. You too.
All right. We're still waiting for Mr. Eddie Baines to come on. Uh, I see a comment that the Swannies are here. Um, if you are a member of the Swanee and you would like to come on, type type me and I will bring you on and you can come chat with us on, or unless you can find Mr. Eddie and tell him to come on. Because we're waiting on him. Something for us. Huh? They can do all your something for us. Yeah. Come on yeah. in now. Come on. Well, you have Come on right. in the room. We'll I'm, talk to you. I'm a shy person. I'm very shy. I'm a shy person, y'all. Lord have mercy, Camille. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll talk Bye -bye. to you later on. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Still waiting for Mr. Eddie Baines. Um, you going to let me go? I know you're not eating chicken on my live. <laughs> it is bad, <laughs> too. It's, it's salt and pepper. I got good Texas stuff. Everything good in Texas. Uh, bye, Camila. <laughs> 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 oh, all right. Um, anybody mm. else? We got people trying to call in. Dewan Wright, are you a member of the Swannies? Okay, Mr. Eddie Baines is here. And while we're waiting for him to connect, this is Mr. Eddie Baines. And we're trying to connect him. Gwendolyn, did you see Camilla eating chicken on my life? Adam's ribs, yes, she is. She is funny. She is funny. But she is real. And what you see is what you get with Camilla. <laughs> We're trying to get Mr. Eddie to connect. It keeps saying connection failed. I'm going to try them again. And we hope that it will connect this time. Seems like we got a couple of members of the Swannies in the house. Uh, we were trying to get Mr. Eddie Baines to come on. If not, we're going to grab Mr. Sonny and Mr. Dewan. Mr. Eddie, we see you, but we can't hear you. Uh, I see him, but I can't. I'm sending the invite, but it keeps saying connection failed. I don't know. Are you on your phone, Eddie? I'm going to try it again. Mr. Sonny Brown. Just sent you an invite, Mr. Brown. Hello. Oh. <laughs> How you guys doing? Great, great. How you doing? Good. I just wanted you to come on, Mr. Eddie, and just tell us a little bit about um who you are, 
about your music group, and then, of course, we're going to talk about this event that's coming up on this weekend. Okay, yes, ma'am. My name is Eddie Bonds. I've been with the Swannies for 34 years. I'm the manager. Um, we also have a company. The Swannies has Westland Music Group. Um, uh, we're just doing a whole lot of things for this music industry. Um, we're so happy to have you to um, connect with now. Um, but we want to let everybody know this coming Sunday, this coming Sunday, make sure you come to the James Brown Arena, Bell Auditorium, to the Swanee Quintet's 78th anniversary. Yeah. It's going to be off the chain. It's, it's going to be great. Yeah, because y'all got Doc McKenzie, the Cantons, Lee Williams, Sean Brown. Sean Jones. I Pastor mean, Sean Jones. I also have Pastor Tim Rogers, um, Bishop Darrell McFadden, Luther Barnes, Doc McKenzie. And Doc McKenzie. I also want to have the man himself there playing all his characters, um, no other than um, Ricky Smiley. Wow. And this is, is going to be a live TV recording. Uh, yes, oh, it's yes, a live yes, recording. Yes, right. ma'am. It's a live DVD recording. DMD Core, they will be producing our live DVD recording. Um, this is the first live recording that the Swannies have done. So we wanted to do it big. We're going to do some old ones. We're going to do some new ones. It's going to be an all-around good time. So if you're in the area, October 1st, Bell Auditorium, come fellowship with the Swannies. We want to see your face in the place. The James Brown Arena. If y'all need tickets, I'm going to say this now. If you need tickets, your advance tickets are $35 all the way up until Saturday, September 30th. You cannot get an early bird ticket after Saturday. We won't have any tickets. The tickets will be $45. We have about 100 VIP seats. The VIP tickets is uh, $50, right? $50. $50. So, again, it's a live recording. Ricky Smiley, Lee Williams, Luther Barnes, Doc McKenzie, Bishop Darrell McFadden, Pastor Tim Rogers. Pastor Sean Jones, uh, Doc McKenzie, and the Swanee, and the Swanee Quintet. So we want y'all to come out, fellowship, live in Augusta. It's going down October first. Is that Kobe back there somewhere? <laughs> there you go. How, How you doing? Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. It's good to see all of you. Um. Yeah, it's good. I've been sw following the Swannies for years, and every time I've seen the Swannies, uh, Mr. Percy would ask me the same question. He'd say, you love old Percy? I'd say, I love old Percy. <laughs> okay. Do you love the Swannies? We know you do. Yeah. How has it been moving forward? Um, I know, you know, he was the foundation for the Swannies. How has it been moving forward now? I I think um, in a sense, when 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 Percy first had gotten sick, you know, sometimes God not sometimes all the time God can see things before we even notice it. So God was preparing preparing us. He was putting people in place so that we can continue to go on. Cause you know, Percy Percy um, stayed out for over a year without yeah, the yeah. Swanies before he. Um, past, um, you know we miss him. Um, you know we have a lot of love for him, but we're so glad that the community, the music industry, they embraced us. They embraced the, and these are not new guys. These guys right. have been here eight, nine years, but they was playing a different role in the in the group. But um, it, you know, it's been somewhat uh, uh, of an, an adjustment. Being without Percy, just his face, and without his God, God is there. But yeah. you know, you got a bunch of great guys. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Um, the guys that are with you. I want them to introduce themselves and and let us know what role they play in the Swannies. Yeah, son. How you doing? My name is Sonny Brown. Singer, also uh, background yeah, vocalist at time. Yeah, y'all already know I'm Kobe Weaver, you know, second lead singer, background vocalist. I've been here nine years. It's been a blessing to be a part of the Swanee Quintet. My name is DeWan Wright, a.k.a. Lil Red. Um, 
I am a top. I'm a top man in the group, um, and I just consider it a humbling experience and, and a blessing to just share the stage with a great group of guys and, and you know just my brothers. Chris. Yes, ma'am. And of course, my name is Eddie. I've been managing the Swannies for for quite some time time now, um, and I've been with the group for actually 35 years. It, it don't seem like it, but um, wow. Yeah. He plays wow. guitar too. Yeah. Um, one of the guitar players, you know, we're so fortunate and so happy to have um, one of the guitar players that have been with the Swannies for 55 years, Johnny Mims. Um, we have another guy that's um, the road manager. His name is George Drummond. He does, he does a wonderful job for us selling records and um, doing um, other work that Swannies need doing um, at, the, at, at the programs. Um, and this has been a great experience um, working with the Swannies been a, a great experience for me learning from Reverend Willingham, Johnny Jones, Percy, and Big Red. Now, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, then we get a chance to meet great people like you that support the Swannies and push the Swannies. The Swannies has a great legacy of music. Uh, yes. And actually, the Swannies, they are a great trendsetters that people don't know. The Swannies toured with James Brown for years. We have a street named after the Swannies here. Oh, yeah. Um, right. Legacy with the Swannies. They um, sing for um, um, Bill Cosby, um, um, Reverend Jesse Jackson, um, Carnegie Hall, Apollo Theater, Madison Square Garden, Blue um, Road. And, and right now we're getting ready to go to England for a couple of weeks um, at, in the first of the year. Uh, you know, it, it just seemed like traditional gospel would never die. It seemed like every year it, it goes higher and higher. And I just thank God for placing me in the position that I'm in, and and, and I thank God for p placing the guys who, who who are my support around me, right. to to let this continue. Because you know, it's, it it says a lot about an organization that has been singing for 78 years straight, nonstop, never stop, and to have the support from the music in, industry, uh, uh, you know, it's a blessing, yeah. and, and and we. And we thank everybody for it. You know, we thank the people coming from different places to help us celebrate this anniversary. Because it wouldn't be an anniversary with, with, without the people. Yes, sir. Um, and, we, and, and especially you. Because I remember, you know, you talking to Percy, and, and you know how, you know, Percy liked this joking kid. And, um, and that just was his personality. So, you know, uh, with that Percy being absent, you know, but we still came together. God still made, uh, put that glue there to hold us together and gave us the knowledge, gave us the wisdom, gave us the um, anointing to keep his word. And that's what I try to tell a lot of upcoming artists, even some of the old artists. If you're going to do it, do it right, and you got to do it for God. That's right. That's and I guarantee you, you, you would not only make 78 years, you, uh, you, you, your group can continue, continue. Like, I'm not going to be here always, but if they keep God first and play it straight and do it right, then this group will continue to move on. Well, I definitely want to commend you guys for the way you have you have kept the legacy going with such dignity and, and the sound is still there. And, you know, it's, it's still that swanee feel. When I, I when I see you guys, you know, so I commend you uh, for sticking together and staying together and being able to do that. Give us one more time the information for the program. It's in Augusta, Georgia, at the Bell Auditorium. Augusta, Georgia. Um, yeah, 712 Taffer Street in Augusta, Georgia. Um, um, October the 1st, the doors open up at 4 o'clock. The program starts at 4.30. You'll be out there by 9, 9.30. But, you know, we don't tarry. We just keep it going. <laughs> and um, <laughs> no, that's, no, it is what it is. Um, we have some wonderful groups, some wonderful professional groups. And um, these groups have put a lot of things aside. They could have been someplace else. But they have placed it, placed that date here in Augusta. And, and I'm telling you, we have people coming from everywhere. everywhere. We have people yeah. coming from California, Chicago, Detroit, Indianapolis, Florida, 
um, uh, Virginia, North Carolina. I mean, all everywhere. All 48 going to be in Augusta, Georgia, October 1st. One thing that, one thing that he forgot, because around this time, he has a lot on his head, and it takes a lot to put something together like this. So if you need hotel information, you can contact Eddie Bonds. His contact number is 706-294-9692. I'll say it again if you missed it the first time. 706-294-9692. The hotels that we have, we have the Sheraton, we have the Hampton, and we have the Red Roof Inn. It's located Washington on Road. Washington Road. When you call the hotel to make your reservation, you ain't got to put no money down. They will reserve your room. All you got to do is call and ask for the Swanee Quintet block. They automatically know that it's for the Swanee Quintet weekend. So when you get there, your reservation already made. We have shopping areas all over the place. So for all the ladies that want to come and get a little pair of shoes or a nice little outfit, we got plenty of stores out here. Y'all can shop, have a good time. There's plenty of restaurants on Washington Road. Any contact information that you may need, hotel, ticket information, uh, directions on how to get to the Bell Auditorium, you can contact any member of the Swanee Quintet. For the hotel information, contact Eddie Bonds. He will accommodate you with all the information that you need. And again, we definitely appreciate you for just your love and your support. And uh, kudos and love to you. Thank you so much. And I want to um, reiterate this, too. You know, we, we, we're always talking about Ricky Smiley. We're always talking about all the fabulous groups that's going to be there. But um, it, it's going to be a spiritual event also. That's right. So, you, you know, people, um, you, you, you may come there sick. And sometimes you might be sick and you don't even know it. But once you come there and get the word, because you can get the word through music. And God can heal you through music. You just have to be at the right place at the right time. So we just asking everybody, you know, um, we are going to be entertaining the people, but we also going to be delivering a word, a spiritual word. And um, there's going to be um, even talk about the music industry. A lot of people need to know about knowledge, about how to keep going for 78 years. Right. That's um, true. People need, we also going to have people there. If you haven't voted and you're not a registered voter, you can register to vote. So wow. it's more than just uh, uh, this gospel event there. We're going to have church, and we're also going to have things that can help the community here. Um, we're going to be talk, talking about information to help um, guys um, detect prostate cancer, women with breast cancer. I mean, you know, we're we doing an all-around thing, all just around. not not just just the singing. And, and, yeah, and like the one I said, we're all going to be doing a live DVD and CD um, live DVD and CD, and we also have a great guest person to come and do one of person's songs with us, and that's Bishop Darrell McFadden. And we have another surprise that's going to be doing a song with the Swans, but we have to just leave some things to the imagination and just <laughs> wait and just see. Mind you, get all this for thirty-five dollars. Get all of this for thirty-five dollars. Like like Schoolboy said, um, you know, anything that you may need if you want to learn the business. If you wanna, uh, if you're trying to get into promoting, if you're a musician, um, and, and you're trying to figure out how you can um, become a greater musician, we gotta have musicians, we gotta have preachers, we gonna have churches. Let me tell you, we have uh, the great Kevin Wilson is gonna be and, there. And he, what, what is it that he the, runs? The, the Guitar Summit. The Guitar Summit. Yeah, he's gonna Every be giving, giving, giving musicians knowledge about music there. So, wow. you know, it's something for every. And I want to say this, the, the last thing is that, you know, we, we, we charge a small fee for this event, but it's only, you only um, plan this fee because you plant the seed. And you never know what a seed is. And you never know what, what, what may come out of that seed. So it's not just, you know, you're just giving this money for us to, um, to um, do, do well with, you know, it just cover the expenses. And if somebody gets saved, off of this program, right. it's worth the thirty-five, forty-five dollars, right. and that's what it that's what I, yes. it is. You know that gotta, is. Gotta come on out, Johnny Jones sung a song. The song says, "Starting all over again." It's gonna be rough. It was rough, but it was worth it. And if we had it all to do it all over again, 
we would go through the same the same thing. It's always you always gonna come against storms in your life, but it all depends on how you weather the storm. So you know, we just want everybody to less fellowship. Um it, it's gonna be an anointed service. I've been excited since we first started talking about it. I know God gonna move. Um, I know people are gonna leave different from how they came and um we, we already claimed victory over this service, so we already know it's going down. October first. Y'all just need to get here to Augusta. Y'all come on. October first. I wanna thank you guys. And that that is that's what it's about. It's wonderful to have all these singers and musicians to come together. But at the end of the day, bringing a soul to Christ and, and getting that message across is what it's all about. And I again, I applaud you guys for what you're doing. I applaud the Swannies and the legacy that they have. Um, that's, that's just a legacy that will never die. I, the Swannies will forever be around. Um, and yes. I was just saying, we thank you. We know Percy looking down here, <laughs> telling you, you know, he's happy that you supporting this one. It's been a great support beam for us. I know what Percy's saying right now. I'm Percy Griffiths. Percy Griffiths. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. That's him. Um, we want to thank everybody that joined us on the live tonight. We'll post the flyer again, and we'll post the hotel information and uh, all of that and the contact information. If you want to get tickets, this Saturday is going down October 1st in Augusta, Georgia at the Bell Auditorium, the 78th. 78th anniversary of the Swanee Quintet. So we want to see you there. I'll see you guys on Saturday. All right. <laughs> we want to thank you again. Y'all have. All right. There you have it. The Swanee Quintet. And we are excited about this weekend. Uh, if you need information, we've got Miss Tamisha is posting it for us. Uh, we're going to post the flyers. So make sure you have all the information that you need. And we will see you this weekend. In the meantime, remember, be good to each other. I'll see you back here on tomorrow night at 8 o'clock for um, our Encouragement Tuesday. Remember, 8 o'clock. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be back with you. Hope that you join us then. But in the meantime, have a great night. And as you go into tomorrow morning, have a great day. Remember, ask God to order your words and order your steps as you go throughout the day. We'll see you then. Miss Tamisha, if you're going to be there, I hope to get to meet you. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.